lived. Never mind. The rug was pulled out from me at the last second. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty ridiculous course you've made. I'm starting to think that all the stuff on the police car isn't feces or I don't know, like soft serve chocolate ice cream. I think it's vomit. It could also be the souls of the innocent. This is it. Okay, this is my best run so far. Hold on. I don't know if there's any way I can make it in 90 seconds, but I haven't knocked a single cone over yet. Oh yeah. Okay, so now, what is this? Okay, I'm just gonna, oh. How, is this supposed to happen or? Would you just put slow down sticks the whole way to the end? How do you make it? Oh, the slow down sticks are gone. I'm driving on ice. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, we are LAPD drifting over here. I guess Los Santos PD drifting. Ah, well, that was the closest I've come yet. So I learned something very important. This section, you're supposed to do this backwards. That's how you shave. Mm. That's how you shave off the extra couple of seconds. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. Come on. Don't you do this to me, game. No. Yes. Yeah, we have a check. No way. Ah! I, I can't believe you did this to me. You vi- Oh god, I can't- I thought maybe I could jump through, through it. You violated me in the most ridiculous way just now. It's fine. We're never gonna give up. We're gonna do it. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, oh no. Well, I tried. Okay, things are going pretty well so far. If I can not hit the outside cone, there we go. Swip over to the inside. You ready for this? Pull through, turn off to the right. Fully around, yeah! Now, I have had a lot of trouble here, but I found that if you kind of coast through most of this, you'll still have enough time to make it in the end. Oh my God. The big benefit is going backwards here. Here we go. Backwards, pull it. Haven't hit a single cone. Things are looking absolutely perfect. We're gonna keep going over to the left. Slide over to the right, into the middle. Then we're gonna do a full 180. That could have been a lot smoother, but whatever, it's still okay. Oh, so apparently at some point I hit a cone. Come on, three seconds, two seconds. Oh, sweet Jesus, don't you do this. Okay, one second's 105. We got it, we got it. Don't you take this from me. Yeah, we have a checkpoint. All right, on to the next police car. Oh yeah. I've upgraded from brutal to fodder. This says eliminate all criminals. I love how it has nothing to do with arresting people. Also, I've been given rockets. Standard upgrade over here at the police department. It is nice. So I assume you have to shoot the stuff in front of you. All right, clear out the roadblocks. That's hot. And, oh God. Oh, I don't know if that hit or not. Uh, it did not hit. I don't know what happens if I do not murder everyone in front of me. I'm kind of concerned. What happens if I leave anyone surviving? Hold on a second. I need to check something. Oh. Oh, okay. So the barriers are connected to the helicopter. So you have to kill the helicopters in order to progress in the game. Ah, yes. A classic GTA trope. Having to murder someone in order to continue to play. So I see an arrow. It is pointed down. Uh, uh oh. What? So I came back here wanting to check something. There is a helicopter and it's pointed straight down. At first I was like, how on earth can you hit it? You have to sit down here and then use your hydraulics and aim up. Oh, God. Your rockets <laughs> trying to hit this thing on the bounce. Oh, this, this helicopter is very evasive. I'll tell you. It's like, it should be like shooting fish in a barrel. There we go. Get the escaped prisoners. All right. Like get them, like put them in the vehicle or get them like murder them. Because I have a feeling it's going to be get them like murder them. Well, note to self, do not use rockets on a wall ride. 
Oh, back to the beginning. Fortunately, this Michael Bay stuff is honestly pretty easy. Like the jump. Oh God. All right, well, I say it's pretty easy. Hey, you, you want to see your tax dollars at work? <laughs> All right, let's try that with a little less failure. I think I missed. Never mind. I maybe I didn't miss. Oh no, I totally missed. Fortunately, even if you mess up, they should they should have put an invisible wall here because what you can do is get out of the car and just shoot the tail off of the helicopter. So you give your skin what it's asking for with Billy body wash, like a bright glow, soothing comfort. Bouncy moisture or a purify. What the? What just happened? What just happened just now? My cop car coughed out another sadder cop car. What are you? Anyway, we'll pretend that didn't just happen. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. Hold on, I'm seeing. I'm seeing if I could. Yep. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I could cheat it underneath the ramp. You totally can. Well, I say cheat it, but maybe part of being a police officer is using ingenuity. All right. Oh, big jump. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, sticks the landing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this car isn't looking that good considering what's it's gone through so far. Nine one one, the emergency response that you probably don't want. All right, here we go. So do not use the rockets, which means I'm going to have to get the, oh no. Oh God, this thing is terrible at wall riding. I love that it sheds its skin like a snake from the top rope. I think I got it. Oh, I did. <laughs> Before I go onto the wall ride, hold on. <laughs> Listen, I know there was a guy over there. I thought I would just take care of him right away. Because when their bodies hit my police car, it slows me down a lot, all right? I need to be able to keep all of my forward momentum. There we go. Okay. So the first prisoner should already be down and out. Indeed, he is. Oh, God. Okay, so now there's another prisoner. Oh, all right, so you don't have a choice. I have to murder the prisoners, otherwise the barriers won't go away. Hey, hey, there we go. I'm sorry, man. It's for the progression of the of the wall ride. All right, you understand, right? How come my light bar is so calcified? Managed to get rid of this guy too with a rocket. I'm not gonna lie, staying on this thing. Oh yeah. Oh, there's another one up top. Are you kidding me? Staying on this wall ride while trying to clean out. Ah, all of the uh, the prisoners is is tough. What is that? Was that a prisoner? That guy looked like he was just wearing like a beanie cap and a jacket. I'm getting pretty good at learning how to wall ride this thing now. Oh boy. Yeah, there he is again. Looks like a civilian. Maybe you're not supposed to murder him. Wouldn't that be amazing? A GTA board where you're not supposed to kill someone. All right, so drop down. Get rid of that guy. I'm assuming the next one's going to be... Ah. What just happened? I was like a random car up there. There is some jank going on in the world of the Los Santos Police Department. All right, first area, all good. Prisoners are gone. I should have went to the top. All right, low, low, low. Squeeze down, allow that guy to survive. Up, yes, down. Oh. Okay, no joke. Pulling that final kind of like upward bank is tough. Future gray here. I learned something terrifying. That civilian was always meant to die. How can you possibly get through that top barrier? I wondered. You don't have to. If you kill the civilian, it unlocks the bottom barrier. There's one last barrier and there's one last human being that's alive. I think I know what to do. <laughs> I love that this challenge wasn't even about saving the civilian. It was about realizing that they too had to die in order so that you could progress. So that means that we get another checkpoint and we're gonna get a brand new police car upgrade. What? I have no idea what this is. Why, wow, you just gave me all of the stacks, didn't you? <laughs> oh God. 
ruined. This is the ugliest. Oh, we're starting. Okay, get the criminal. This is the ugliest and simultaneously the most amazing. Oh my God. The most amazing police car I've ever seen. All right, so you're getting rockets shot at you. That was a random Michael Bay explosion. Do I have rockets? Oh, I have boosts. Like I legitimately have a boost. Okay, so I guess the power up is my boost ability. It, I can't use it forever. It looks like it's on some kind of timer or something or it has to regenerate. I'm not really sure. Okay, so now we have uh... <laughs> family. Oh, Diesel's over there spinning out. Now there's a tree in the way. So we've got to go across the bridge over here. Meanwhile, we're still being shot at. There's our boost. So, oh, I get it like a double tap boost. So I guess maybe I can use it twice in a short amount, a certain amount of, ah, really? Ah, I had no idea that getting the criminal would involve me having to engage with someone shooting at me with rockets. So jump over here, man. That's like the worst thumbnail ramp you could ever have to try and get over. All right, so after you dodge the rockets onto here, do the jump, use the boost. Here we go. Okay, yes, looking good. Now I have to make sure not to get familyed over here. I just got familyed. Jump onto the boat, thumbnail the ramp, land it. Beautiful, around the car. Use your boost. Don't forget to use the boost, which I do forget quite a bit. Don't get family. Tree falls. Go on to the other side of the bridge. Dodge all the rockets. Oh my God. Don't get spike stripped. Ugh. Random gold plated vehicle. No. There's the spike strip. Jump over the bridge. Was there a boat there? I think it is a sailboat that kind of like goes through the bridge. You end up hitting its sail. I always forget after I've used the boost that it may be time for me to use the boost again. So we've got all the way to the end. There we go. And what happens? Do I get him? Ah! Uh, oh. Oh, his vehicle turns undynamic. So I have to beat him to the end. This is sick. Because that means that somehow I need to do this board even more perfect. You know, my car would probably be a lot faster if it you didn't have like three tons of afterburners on it from an F-15. Oh, God. What I wouldn't have given for some armor. Okay, this is a good run. This is a good run so far. Again, there's rockets flying everywhere. There's probably like a million innocent people. Oh my God, I have no idea how that missed. There's probably like, oh, it is. Okay, so the sailboat does time. It is timed to try and murder you when you go through it. How? I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to get the criminal. Let's do this. Epic dodge. I'm going to use all my boosts. In fact, I, may, I, I think I'm just going to tap on the button. <laughs> this way, the boosts get used the second it's off cool down. I'm not going to lie. Your get the criminal board is no joke. I kind of just want the criminal to go. I'll let him win. Crime pays. Do you know how many police cars I've gone through trying to catch this guy? Um, hold on. I want to check something. We're going to, we're going to try and do this. We're going to try and do this. You ready? Oh, yes. I beat the tree. I kind of wonder if you could just beat the tree. That's going to save so much time. Hold on. We might actually beat the car. We might actually beat the criminal this time. All right, go around the ramp. I'm going to give you a ticket for just stopping on this bridge. I hate you so much. Oh, we are easily before the criminal. And that means... Come on. Does he shoot back? Does he shoot forward or just backward? What in God's name just happened there? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Woo. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is the longest death scene in cinema history. But that means since the criminal is, I guess, dead. I don't know what to call it. That we have a winner. Well, I became a police officer, and I don't know what happened. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy, much love. The best time to get.